Okay, another, um, just a little thing on um, depreciation to do with extending the life of an asset. Let's say we had an asset which cost £100 and we thought it would have a useful economic life of, let's say, four years. Straight line depreciation would indicate 25 depreciation charge per year. Let's say we got to the end of the second year. The picture would be this. Let's say it was a building, BLDG, £100 of cost, accumulated depreciation, four year useful economic life, 25 charge a year, the balance on accumulated depreciation will be 50 at the end of year two. Well, let's say we revise then the remaining useful economic life of the asset to one year. If you revise the remaining useful economic life, um, the change is prospective, i.e. we don't go back and alter anything in the past, we just change what we then do in the future. So if there's only one year to go now on this asset, as far as its useful economic life is concerned, we would charge in the final year the full amount of the cost yet uh, to be um, charged, in this case 50. So the depreciation charge for the final year would be 50. So in the final year, the income statement would receive an extra 50, or depreciation expense would receive the extra 50, rather than if we'd gone according to plan, it would have been 25 that year and then 25 the following year. All right. So each year you need to review the remaining useful economic life of an asset, like a building or a vehicle. Okay, thank you very much.